In this video, we'll take a look at generating a debug level PRT on a 3PCC phone registered to WebEx Calling. And we're going to actually download the PRT directly from WebEx Control Hub. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to Devices and then select the phone that we're targeting. I'm going to go to Device Settings. I'm going to select Define Custom Device Settings. And where it says Default Logging Level, I'm going to change this to Debugging. We're going to hit Save. And on Actions, we're going to hit Apply Changes. And this takes about 10-15 seconds for the phone to have this config push to it. And then what you're going to notice at the bottom, there's Device Logs, Manage. And we're going to go ahead and click on Generate Log. And while we're waiting here, I'm just going to read out what is lists here on this page. To generate a new log, click Generate New Log. Generated logs will be made available to Cisco Tech Support. Uploading new logs may take five minutes or more. You may close the window while waiting for the log to upload to finish and then check back later. So one of the things to be aware is when we generate debug level logs on a phone, if we don't download them directly from the phone, which I'm not showing this video, I have other videos that cover that workflow, but if we download them from WebEx Control Up, there is going to be a certain percentage of information that's obfuscated, aka that is scrambled. So to get the most information when troubleshooting, if you're working with a Cisco partner and or Cisco technical support, typically it's recommended if possible to download the debug PRT directly from the phone in effort the information is not obfuscated. Obviously, in some cases, that may not be possible. Perhaps the phone is located on a network where you don't have accessibility, such as VPN, or you're physically not at the network. So this is another method of generating and getting a debug level PRT. The other thing also to keep in mind is if there's a specific issue that you're trying to capture the debug level PRT for, you definitely want to try to generate the debug level PRT as soon as possible, as soon as the issue occurs, and then download it. The reason being is if a phone is fairly actively used, the PRT logging file may be overwritten in two to three hours. So it's very critical that if an issue occurs, go ahead and generate the debug level PRT. Okay, looks like it just finished. And download as soon as possible and document the date and time when the issue occurred. Also, if it's something physical that you're seeing on the screen of the phone, some type of transaction or issue, it might be also a benefit of doing a short video clip of the issue. Okay, so I'm going to click download. Okay, and then we have our PRT right here. So the next thing really would be would be to provide this PRT to either Cisco technical support, if you're working with them directly, or a Cisco partner. So one of the things that may be beneficial to check is to verify if the PRT that we just downloaded, if it's debug level. So I went to my downloads folder. I went ahead and I used 7-zip to unzip the first level and then within this folder we're going to have one more layer of unzipping so we're going to go ahead and extract files this will create another folder and then within this folder we're going to go ahead and click and then we're going to get this I kind of think of this as a master folder or root folder if you will 
And then inside of this, we're going to take a look at this cfg.xml. So we're going to open up, in my case, I'm going to use Notepad++. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Control F, and I'm going to type in level as my keyword. And then I'm going to go in and find in current document, and then we're going to click on this. So this is really what we want to make sure that the PRT has listed at its debug level. And this is what you would want to provide to a Cisco partner and or Cisco TAC, depending who you're working on with. And you want to make sure the date, time, when the issue occurred, description of the issue, and also if applicable, a video. So this hopefully will help you if you need to generate a debug level PRT, you don't have accessibility to the network where the phone is located, and you would like to do it directly from WebEx Control Up. Thank you for watching the video.